speak right here my conversation with Katherine Jackson she sat down with me to talk about her beloved grandchildren how they are coping a year and a half after losing their father we're gonna have the full interview tomorrow but as I said here's a here's a sneak peek take a look daddy has been the best father you could ever imagine <laughs> I just wanted to say I love him so much. It was the hardest day of their young lives, saying goodbye to the father they loved so dearly. Hi, I'm Robin Hi. Roberts. Prince. Nice, nice to meet you, Prince. It's been nearly two years, and many want to know how Michael Jackson's children are coping. The veils are long gone, and for one very special day, so was the veil of secrecy, as I was invited into the inner world of Jackson's children and their beloved grandmother, Catherine. They're just like the most three normal kids that you'd ever want to, you'd ever want to hang are. out with. They are. It was kind of hard at first, but um, they've adjusted pretty well. I got to ask the questions America has been wondering. What would you like to do? And Michael Jackson's children answered. I guess continue what our dad was doing. Like, An incredible glimpse into their private world, mm -hmm. their hopes and dreams, their everyday lives revealed. I'm thinking about auditioning for a play next week. And how these three children are following in their famous father's footsteps. I can't say enough about Katherine Jackson, her strength, her grace, and as we said, much more with her and her three grandchildren. They were at a, a transitional place yesterday where homeless families make the transition to being back on their own. It's something that was very important to their father, very important to them, so much more tomorrow. But for a look at the top stories again this morning, let's go back to Juju at the news desk in New York. Good morning.